Okay, so going back to the dim customer table now, we have uh, the option as we saw, right click on the table. Okay, and now there's another option called the new named calculation. Okay, so click on the new named calculation. And here what you can do is you can create a calculated column. For example, there was a derived column transformation and SSIS wherein we could add new columns and derive a transformation logic for them or put some calculation for them. So similar way, we can create a new column and put some apply some logic to that column. So the column name, let's say what we want to do is create a full name column. Okay, you can provide a description if you want for that column. And then in the expression, let's take a simple expression for now. Just combine the first name. So this is a column from the DIM customer table. Combine your first name with your last name. Okay, so this is a simple transformation that we are doing and say okay. So now you'll see that one more column by the full name has got added to this table, DIM customer table. Okay, and now there is a symbol across it that says that it's a named calculation. And now if we right click on this and do our explore data, okay, and go towards the end, we should be able to see some data for this derived column. So you can see there has been no space added because that is the expression that we wrote for that. So go back. Edit named calculation. Let's add a space in between. Okay. So this becomes a named calculation. Okay. Valid column name. Okay single quotes. Now again let's explore the data for this table. Go back to the last column and now we can see that a space had been added. Okay so this way you can create some calculated columns and add them to your data source view. So if there is some calculation to be done, there is some ratio to, to be calculated or some percentages to be calculated, then you can put your calculations at this place, at one place. And what is the advantage of putting your calculations over here? Because they would be in your data source view and the, you can base multiple cubes on this data source view. So you can directly go to your calculated column and access it across the different cubes. So that would be your advantage. Okay, so in this way, you can create multiple calculated columns at one place at your base level, which is a data source view. And then when we are building the queues, we can have direct access to these columns. 